When you've had a caesarean section before, you have a bit of a choice to make in your next pregnancy. And the choice is whether to aim for a vaginal birth, or VBAC as it's called, vaginal birth after caesarean section, or whether to go for a planned caesarean section. And one important uh, factor when you're making that decision is to think about why you had the caesarean section the first time. So if you had a caesarean section for a one-off event the first time, like the baby being in a breech presentation, or the baby becoming distressed during labour, it's absolutely fine to aim for a vaginal birth the next time. And if you do aim for a vaginal birth, there's a very high chance that you will achieve it, maybe 70 to 80 percent. If, on the other hand, the reason for your caesarean section the last time is likely to occur again, so for example, if you had an average sized baby, you were in labour, you had good contractions, and yet the labour got stuck halfway through and the baby was in the right position, so everything was favourable for a vaginal birth, then you have to think there's a reasonable chance that the same thing might happen again. And in that situation, you're probably better off going for a planned caesarean section the second time. If you decide to aim for a vaginal birth after caesarean section, a VBAC, there are some things that improve your chances of, of success. Uh, one is obviously if the baby's not too big, if the baby's in the right position, and various things like that. But what's very important is what happened previously. So if in the past you've had a, a normal, a vaginal birth, as well as having a caesarean section, then this time round, even though it's still a VBAC, you have a very high chance of having a successful vaginal birth, probably in the order of 90%. Um, uh, if you, even if you've gone through labour before, as far as, let's say, seven or eight centimetres dilation before you had an emergency caesarean section the first time, that also significantly improves your chances of a successful VBAC this time. If you're aiming for a VBAC, a vaginal birth, uh, after you've had a caesarean before, that's absolutely fine, as I say, and there's a very high chance that you will have a vaginal birth. When you're in labour with a VBAC, then we do have to be slightly more cautious, because one of the concerns we have is that the scar on the womb, the scar on the uterus, might weaken or even open, break open, or rupture as it's called, during the labour. Uh, and that's a serious thing for, for the mother and it's a serious thing for the baby, so we really want to try to avoid that. Uh, and to avoid that we do a few things slight, slightly differently. We certainly suggest that you have the baby in hospital rather than at home or even in a standalone birthing centre, so that if there is any problem with mother and baby, uh, everybody is there to help you and the baby uh, should it be necessary. In many hospitals they prefer not to use hormones either to induce, that's start off the labour, uh, or speed up the labour if the labour is going very slowly. In many hospitals, as I say, they prefer not to use that because there is some evidence that using those hormones uh, by forcing the labour a little can increase the chances of the scar on the womb opening or breaking. But there are some hospitals that will use that and that's fine, but it needs to be quite judicious. You need to be careful uh, and watch things carefully if some of those hormones are going to be used. And then during labour, we'd be quite keen to watch the progress of labour. In other words, check that your cervix is opening, dilating the way that it should. Check that the baby is moving down the way that it should and getting into the right position. Because again, the last thing we would want is a very long labour uh, with the baby stuck and lots and lots of strong contractions with the baby not making any effort to come out. Uh, in that situation, again, the scar might begin to weaken or open. So as I say, if you've aiming for a vaginal birth it's absolutely fine you have a very good chance of success uh, but we need to be a little bit more cautious and make sure that everything's going smoothly the whole way through